Hello folks. Today we will be using the golf ball. Before we use it, I want to go over some safety rules. The first rule is always wear safety glasses. Second, steel toe boots. And last, make sure the tire has no loose screws. This is good. <laughs> and that's it folks. I got the computer recording for people. All right, since we got this side, this amount of weight, and this side, this amount of weight, so we have to even it out. So we find the right one weight to put on one side, so it can e-balance it. And to put this on, to put this on, use the same tool, but you use a hammer side, and it's easy. Put it there, and hammer it in. Easy as that? Close the lid. That is all part of the And then it should be evened out. Yeah. yeah. My name is Victor Bancourt. Uh, we're going to be uh, showing you how to use the tire balancer. This machine right here. So first thing you do is you grab your tire and you make sure it has none of these weights on. These weights right here and on either side. And to, if you do have a weight on there to take it off, you use one of these. Once you have taken off the weights, you find the right size foam for the for a wheel. And it should be placed in this position. After you're done with that, you mount the tire wheel. You use this as a lock. Press these two buttons in and push in. After that, you twist to make sure it's locked. Put this part of the tire on this right here. Same with that. The tire comes right off. After you're done with that, you make sure you get the right measurements and then you put it input it into the computer. For this measurement, you must use one of these. That should be on the side. And you measure it to here, to the side of the rim. Like right quarter right here. You put this in here. Mm. After you're done, this should be on the computer. Put the right measurement on there. And for this, you use you use one of these. Dang. This measures the height of the tire or the wheel. This measures the width, and these are the numbers of the measurement. So I'm gonna be measuring from this side to this side. Make sure it's put in this position how I have it. To have a good accurate measurement. And then you look at this side right here. And you put the number it's on. On the computer, you put this number that you just measured. And now, to measure this one, was that 100? That's 100. And to measure this one, you use this again, or you could just look on the measurement on the tires. Which this one says it's a 15. 
And to use this to measure it, to measure it, you, you do it like this. And this, and this. And then you look on this side. And this is that you said the number, 16. So you put that number on the computer. And then you're done, and you close the lid. After you find which side needs to be balanced, so you look for the right mat, you look for the right weight for this side to be balanced with this side. You should have.